the split second sprint is next. Well, it's a five furlong nought to a hundred this time. There's not a very big field though. And Harim Gift for Rod McCure is at the top. Bangles for Beck. Stu Gray. Pagani Zonda. Paul Rhodes into the fire. Derek Hinton just a click away. Craig Beckwith and Paul Mamere for Stu Gray. So six runners then. And most of the sprinters got in the lower grade races, I think, today. This week probably they're away on racing. And the Stu Gray pair are going to get out and dispute the lead. Bangles of Beck pulling for a head, but the great Paul Mamere is currently the leader. Just a click away in third and then in fourth, Harim Gift. There's a gap then to Pagoni Zonda and into the fire are being taken off their feet at the moment by the leading four. And those leading four are headed by Paul Mamere, the only grey in the field. Then three in a line, Bangles of Beck just a click away and Harim Gift and a gap of three lengths or so to Pagani Zonda and into the fire is out of shot at the moment. So past the two pole they go already. Um, Paul Mamere, three quarters of a length in front of stable companion Bangles of Beck. Then just a click away, he's not got a lot of rate. He's, he's on the outside, Harim Gift is the one who's not got any racing room at all as they come down past the furlong pole and it's Paul Mamere in the lead. Bangles of Beck second. Stu Gray's already had a one two today. Is he going to have another one? Looks like he might. Paul Mamere and Bangles of Beck are still disputing the lead as they race up towards the line. He's done it again. It's another one two for mighty Stu Gray, he's come with a rattle at the end of the season and many people have had two one twos in the space of six races this season but he's just done it there, Paul Mamere he's a winner he'll be pleased about for Stu Gray Bangles for Beck was second, just a click away Craig Beckwith was third Pagoni Zonda for Paul Rose fourth and Harim Gift for Rod McClure was fifth and what is this saying to us, Stu Gray laying down the gauntlet to be back next season as champion training commentator